Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss hotel safety tips during the pandemic. Yeah. Travelers have to weigh the risks versus the rewards if they really like to travel this time. In a recent travel update, the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention makes it clear that staying home is the best way to protect yourself against coronavirus. If you do travel, the CDC says sharing a rental home with people from your own household is safer than staying with friends or family who aren't from your household or staying at a hotel where you would encounter more people. The riskiest option, siempre, is staying in hostels or dorm-like lodges with shared sleeping areas. Rentals like Airbnb have more access to fresh air, siempre, than hotels. If you really can't avoid staying in hotels, there are a few things to lower the risk, some of which you can do before checking in. Now follow the simple steps that I'm going to discuss to make your hotel stay during the COVID-19 as safe as possible. So let's start. Number one, seek information. Do your research. First, find out how crowded the hotel is. Marami bang tao? Kasi remember, fewer guests means less probability of the transmission of the virus. You can check their websites. I'm sure nandun naman sa websites nila yung mga policies nila. Or make a call. I think it's just fair to ask about their COVID-specific policies. Example, do they require everyone to wear face masks? Where? What would they do if someone reported a guest who doesn't want to wear a face mask? What are their physical distancing measures? How often do they test their workers with PCR tests? Does the hotel limit their guests at the lobby or other public places like elevators, pool, etc.? Kailangan tanungin mo yung mga to. When I check in, will I be able to see a room that has not been occupied and help me to select a room that has been vacant for several days? Another question, how many people do you allow inside an elevator? Also, does the hotel offer no contact services? Example, yung mga automated check-in and check-out, no-touch elevators, yung mga ganon. How often do they disinfect your room? Or can you ask supplies from them if you would clean your room yourself? Kasi syempre, it's better to clean your own room na lang para walang tao papasok sa room mo, di ba? So these are some of the questions you might want to ask for your own safety. Number two, request a room that has not been occupied for at least three days. Now at these times, this is really important. Dapat yung room mo hindi na occupy for at least three days. Pero the clean na after the previous guest. Doing so might lower the risk for you to come in contact with any coronavirus in your room when touching different types of surfaces. Most hotels naman are not operating in full capacity. Siyempre, a lot of people are scared to go out. That's why I think they're gonna be very happy to accommodate your request. Number three, get a hotel room that has a window or a balcony. In some big hotels I know, four stars or five stars, they have window but you can't open it. Pero may mga balcony sila. So request for a room that has either a window that you can open or a balcony. But in some small hotels, boutique hotels, they do. This is very important, especially when you're sharing a room with someone who's not within your household. You need a window or a balcony so you can get fresh air. Now, this is important, especially when you're sharing a room with someone who's not within your normal bubble. At this time during COVID, siempre, ventilation is very important in preventing the virus from spreading. Floor or ceiling fans can provide good ventilation when the people occupying the room comes from the same household. But these are not recommended for travelers from different households. Now, if you can't open a window, let's say you're in a big hotel, pag hindi nyo mabuksan ang window kasi nga, walang bukasan, bring an air purifier. There's one more strategy that you can use when it comes to managing air flows or ventilation. You can turn on the bathroom fan and leave it running. Usually, the fan is connected to the switch. So if you open the switch, may exhaust fan sa taas ng ceiling. So yon, open it and leave it running. This can thereby suck out the air in the bathroom as well as inside the hotel room in general. 
Pero although the bathroom fans only provide very little airflow, at least they provide some. And perhaps this might provide bringing fresh air inside the room, provided that your window is open and going through your room and out through your bathroom fan. We go to number four. Ask for a room as far from the elevator as much as possible. The reason for this is that you will be much safer if few people walk past your room door and possibly breathing out virus particles that might then be sucked into your room by air flows. I know this is quite over na, pero it's better to be safe. Malay mo, maraming taong dumadaan sa room mo, tapos biglang umubo sa harap ng room mo. Eh di, nakakatakot, di ba? So better be safe. Now we go to number five. Avoid shared common areas. If you are in a traditional hotel, there are common areas. You have the reception area, you have the elevator, you have the corridor. All these you have to go through every time you go to your room. You know naman that sometimes there's little or no airflow in those areas because the air in them is much more hotter than your room. Kasi much stuffier, much smelly, kasi nga maraming tao. So all these areas, if possible, you must avoid. I know it's hard naman not going to the reception or not passing through the corridor. But at least, pag nagpass through kayo doon, ibilisan nyo para you won't inhale the air there. Another thing, elevator pose more risk. Why? There's no air there. Ang liit-liit, kulob. So it's better to take the stairs na lang. Now, if you really need to take the elevator, kunyari, napakataas, then face forward and wear a secured mask and never touch the button. Get a ball pen or a key to touch the button, but never with your finger. And of course, avoid speaking inside the elevator. Now, if you're taking the stairs, better if you take the emergency exit stairs. Walang tao doon. Plus, it's a good exercise for you if, let's say, two to three floors long, then take the stairs na. We go to the next. If the hotel naman has parking, inside parking, and outside parking, it's better to take the outside parking. Kasi the inside parking, the basement, there's no air there. It's poorly ventilated. So get na lang the parking outside the building. Now, in terms of going to the restaurant naman, inside the hotel, food buffets are not recommended. Why? Because you're going to have close contact with others unless you're going to be the first one to be there. The distance from the back of the chair to another back of the chair should be at least one meter. If you're going to eat in a restaurant inside the hotel, it's better to choose the Al Fresco, the open air restaurant. Now we go to the pool. Keep a six foot distance from others and always wear a mask unless you're going to swim. But remember, stay away from people who are shouting and are in groups. As for the gyms, many hotels are imposing some rules when it comes to gyms. Often just one guest or one group at a time. That's very good. So just make sure that the equipment are wiped after each use. So go to the attendant and request that you wipe na lang yung, yung machine or yung equipment ng ginamit ng previous guest. As would be valet parking. Huwag na kayo mag valet parking. Kayo na lang mag-drive ng car nyo sa parking lot. Kasi kung magpapavalay pa kayo, this might be risky as you're allowing him to come in contact with your things. So drive yourself to the parking lot. Oh, one more tip. Try not handing your bags to the bellboy. Kayo na lang maglagay sa cart. He can push it, but pagdating sa room, get it yourself. Again, para less contact with others. Siyempre, ang dami-dami na kinahawakan, di ba? So let's just be safe. Number six, buy disinfectants and sanitizers as soon as you arrive in your hotel go to the convenience store or supermarket or grocery store downstairs buy a disinfectant spray antibacterial wipes and antibacterial dishwashing soaps now use this antibacterial spray to clean the high touch areas in your room these hot spots include the light switch the area where you put in your card the remote the telephone the keys, the tables, the chairs, touch screen, the doorknobs, the bathroom counter, the sink, the toilet flush, the toilet handle flush, and the toilet. Make sure that you saturate all the surfaces that you're wiping down or you're spraying on in order to completely kill all the germs. Now, the moment that you come in in the hotel, don't sit on the bed. Remove the bed cover, fold it, and put it on the floor. That's very dirty. 
Remove also the decorative pillows if they have some, huh? Put them in the corner of your wardrobe or the closet or somewhere where you won't touch it during the duration of your stay. You also must disinfect the pillow and the pillowcase and the bed sheets. Better yet, bring your own large pillowcase whenever you travel because it's going to touch your face and that would be very important just to be safe. Imagine the guest before you coughing and sneezing all night and breathing into that pillow. So it's better to bring your own pillowcase or don't use that pillow anymore. Put your jacket inside the pillowcase and use that as pillow. So before moving the sheets and the beddings, remember always wear a mask. Kasi pag 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 mo, all the various particles are up in the air again and baka ma-inhale mo. You should also disinfect the top and bottom of your sheets, the duvets, kasi the duvet hindi pinapalitan yon. All the things that come in contact with your hands and with your face. Okay, spray them all. Number seven, put a do not disturb sign on your door. When checking in, you should inform the front desk that you don't want any daily servicing and hang a do not disturb sign on your door. Also, if you're really OC, get the paper and write do not service my room and put it on your bed. Maybe they think na kalimutan mo lang alisen. So better, if you leave the room, huwag niyo sara yung TV, don't turn it off, put a do not disturb sign on your door, and do not service my room sign on your bed. Now we go to the last, number eight. Go for room service or buy takeout food. Indoor dining, even if the tables are spread out, it's still very risky. The virus lingers longer in indoor area. So try to dine outdoors or buy takeout or get room service. There might be a benefit if you stay na lang in rental homes or Airbnb because there are cooking equipments like fridge, microwave, so you can cook your own food. Now, if there are cooking facilities, don't forget to disinfect all of them before using it. Okay, that's it. Now, I've given you eight useful hotel safety tips during the pandemic. So the bottom line is, if your trip is not necessary, just stay home. Maraming salamat po. Thank you for watching my video. As always, I'm very appreciative that you do. Feel free to share this video if you want. Share it to your friends, your family. So this will keep them safe when staying in hotels during this pandemic. Ingat kayo dyan and always stay safe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Yeah. So you will be notified. So you will be notified. So you will be notified. Like notified.